Hey Leo, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back if you're returning. So happy if you are, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys who come back and support the channel every month. You're amazing. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate you, glad you did find the channel. Uh, if the reading does resonate with you, please be sure to hit that thumbs up and help grow the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you wanna book a private reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video where you'll also find the link to my Patreon page where I'll be uploading an extension. Thank you so much to my existing Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Appreciate you. Uh, if the reading doesn't resonate, be sure to check out your other placements before checking out because you might find something there that does. All right. So this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, um, and your person of interest. Of course, I'm focusing on love and romance, but if it resonates with you on a different rom relational level, feel free to remove those connotations and apply it to your situation. But uh, typically it is about romance. I mean, that's what I'm focusing on, love and romance. So, um, and uh, well, let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, it's meant to be timeless, sorry. <laughs> meant to be timeless. So, um, you know, 30 days out, the next 30 days out from whenever you're led to watch this reading. Um, you know, but time is an illusion, so it could have already played out, be playing out now or play out anytime in the future, all right? So, Leo, uh, it looks like you're dealing with a past life relationship. <laughs> I mean, we have from two different decks, past life love, past life relationship coming out. So, if you don't believe in past lives, I don't know what to tell you, but maybe they're from the past of this life. Certainly could be, you know? But either way, it is definitely, and, and sometimes our past in this life feels like a past life, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, we feel like, you know, in our former life, even though it was just when we were young or something. So this could be somebody coming back from your youth if you're older, or it could be, you know, a past life relationship, okay? Um, you could be at a distance from this person with the boat card coming up. I also see the world and your feelings. So, I mean, there it could definitely signify distance. I feel this is more you're actually getting something. You're receiving something that you need. I don't feel like this is about moving on. Uh, you could be separated from this person, and if you are, you are having closure issues, and so are they. You definitely are. <laughs> Uh, but so are they. Anyway, I do feel like this boat card here is more about this receiving what you need. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Some of you are definitely separated from this person, but some of you could just be, you know, separated for a reason like you're not actually broken up, but maybe you don't live especially close to each other because I do pick up on some distance here. So you may have be missing them because you can't come together for whatever reason. But this is also an energy, it says here, of unsure of the future. So I do feel like, you know, you're not sure where this is going. I feel like you've been trying to call this person in or just your soulmate in. And you've been doing it kind of obsessively, I think, Leo. Some of you guys might be really obsessing over, you know, your manifestation. <laughs> um, and you might need to just pull back a little bit because that's not really healthy to obsess over anything. Um... But uh, we have Aqua Aura Quartz coming up here from the Crystal Spirit deck. It's number six, and you have 24 from the Spirit Animal. So there's two sixes there, okay? So six, you know, might mean something to some of you all. Uh, but Aqua Aura Quartz, I actually want to read to you guys. I don't read always from the books on these, uh, but I do want to read to you a little bit about this one. This one is like, I feel telling you to expect a miracle of some sort. But um, let me read you. I love what this book has to say for the relationship for aqua or of course it says there are 8 billion people on this planet yet soulmates somehow find each other friends and lovers show up in the most unexpected places and love makes itself known just as you are beginning to doubt that it is there for you Aqua Aura Quartz Spirit's message to you today is to become childlike with wonder. Believe in magic. Believe in the power of love to find its way to you no matter how dark the hour. For love is everywhere and you have not been forgotten. Open to the love that the universal consciousness wants you to feel in every cell of your body and every particle of your being. For you are the stuff of stars. I love that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because some of you guys might be feeling a little bit down. I think you've actually had quite a hard time with this particular connection. We have electric eel spirit showing up here. Bring your ideas to life. That is part of manifesting. But I feel like this is, again, also kind of telling you to expect some uh, just you have a lot of changes coming. Like, don't let them scare you. Like, don't get afraid. OK, of the of the changes that are coming. Um. I wasn't going to read about the electric eel spirit, but 
Basically, I, that's what I was getting. I wanted to remind myself. I feel like you're about to set out on a new path with this relationship or maybe in your life in general. And I, it's telling you not to be afraid to act, okay? There, it says, do not fear the changes that may come, okay? Because I do believe you have a lot of changes coming. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, at least in this connection, for sure. The Wheel of Fortune is in your overall energy. That is big changes, big happy changes. It's in the upright, okay? So this connection, I feel, is like under construction. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, under construction. All right, so we have the world coming up in your feelings for this person. It's in reverse. The world in general does indicate that there can be distance. In fact, with this and the boat card, some of you guys could actually be ocean, an ocean away from your person, okay? But it doesn't have to be. Some of you could have some pretty big distance between you. But even if you don't, there's some sort of like emotional distance or whatever. And there has been quite a bit of karma that has built up in this connection, possibly. I mean, if it's past life, you know, there probably is karma. Um, and you've been working through all that. There have been lessons that you've been teaching this person and lessons they have been teaching you, and it's not quite complete. That cycle of lesson learning is not quite complete here. And you know that, you feel that, because this is in your feelings, okay? But this is also those closure issues that we have. Those of you that are separated from this person, you really don't wanna be. You are definitely having closure issues with the world in the reverse, okay? You don't want it to end. You don't want it to be over. Okay, now they're very guarded. Okay, they're in the nine of wands energy. Now, be it, they still carry a torch for you, Leo, for sure. Okay, but they are very guarded from whatever happened in this connection. Uh, they don't really know what to expect either. So they're open and they still have energy for the connection, but they're kind of like, you know, maybe keeping their distance a little bit because they don't really know what to expect. Possibly because there's been a whole hell of a lot of heartbreak in this connection in the past. The Three of Swords. I mean, look at the picture is like, it says it all. Okay, her face. The artist here is just great. Her face is perfect for this card. Okay, because it is very painful energy. And it could have been from a third party, guys. I'm just saying it doesn't have to be, but there could have been another energy in this connection causing a lot of pain, you know, or doesn't always have to be a person either. It could be anything, you know, somebody else could, you know, your person could be addicted to work or, you know, have a, an addiction, anything, something else that came in the way of this connection. It could be somebody's mother or, you know, meddling friends or whatever, but something, there's a third energy that was in this connection that was just not good for it. Okay. And it caused a lot of pain. Um, now, the blockage in this connection right now is the Four of Wands in reverse. So this could be a few different things. This could be somebody that's just very, you know, no, just somebody that's kind of non-committal, okay? Not really interested in maybe settling down, um, uh, haven't been in the past. It could be somebody, unfortunately, who's already settled down with someone else and is not willing to leave that situation or... Uh, it could just be a general lack of stability in the connection, to be honest. Um, let a, um, lack of commitment, lack of stability, okay? And that, you know, brought a lot of heartbreak, I feel, in the past. That's still the blockage right now. Your person's most likely next move is to come out of hermit mode. So that tells me that a lot of you are not really communicating very well with this person. Even if you're technically still, quote unquote, together, there's not a whole lot of communication going on. And you can feel the distance, big time. The emotional distance, distance as well as any physical distance that may exist between you. But this person's been thinking a lot, okay? A lot about this connection, a lot about you doing some soul searching, maybe having some sort of spiritual awakening. The Hermit is very spiritual energy. So they, and this is Virgo uh, energy, and we are in Virgo season, if you're watching this in September of 2021. So we're about to have a new moon in Virgo tonight, September 6th, okay? So this could actually be some sort of timing for some of you. You might, if you haven't heard from this person in a while, you might after tonight, <laughs> okay? Because uh, they are coming out of hermit mode, which means they have something to say. They want to say something to you. Now, Spirit's telling you to protect your energy here. The Four of Pentacles is in the upright, all right? So that's, you know, protect your heart. But you don't want to totally close it up, guys. You don't want to block your heart chakra, okay? And you don't want to come across as defensive to this person. But just energetically, on the inside, you don't have to tell them. Just keep, you know, just keep your guard up. Just to wait, just to wait and see what happens. Hear them out, but, you know, protect your energy, all right? Your outcome is strength, all right? This is your energy, by the way, Leo. Leo energy, okay? Um... It's beautiful. It's healing. Strength and for me like this and the outcome, it's healing. Okay. There have been lessons that have been being learned. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place with all this in the background in the past, right? So this is 
to, this is the end of the, the, um, the outcome for the connection. So it is stronger. Your connection is stronger. Your connection is healing. Okay. in your outcome. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what else we can get for this spirit, please. For Leo, sun, moon, rising and or Venus, please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out two by two for Leo. Leo and their person of interest. For the next 30 days out from whenever they're led to watch this reading. Two by two, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. And their person of interest. two cards to clarify that wheel of fortune and the overall energy between these two what is the overall energy of this connection two cards please oh i didn't like that i do it in my hand because of my nails it's hard all right there we go all right spirit are the top 14 cards, the correct cards to accurately clarify the ones that are already laid out here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. And are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy clarifiers? Upright or reverse, the three of wands. Upright or reverse, the page of pentacles. All right, so I do feel like there's an energy of waiting, okay, with the Three of Wands. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. To me, that's like there's big changes coming, okay? There's a shift going on right now, and it's going to change. Like the Three of Wands is like an energy of direction. It's progress. We have progress here, progression here. It's an energy of growth and moving forward, but it's also an energy of waiting, like for your ships to come in, right? And it's usually you can see the ships in the harbor. Like you know it's there, okay? Uh, could imply a third-party situation, okay? Could be an external earth sign that could be involved in here. But I'm not really picking up on that strongly. I feel like there's a shift coming and it's going to change the energy and like actually going to be able to facilitate growth and stability. There may be an offer coming, an offer being prepared right now with the Page of Pentacles. Communication is definitely coming regardless. The pages are about communication, but they usually, you know, can be just more solid, stable kind of communication, you know, uh, not too fluffy or whatever. It's just like to the point and like, it had i'm trying to explain the difference like um swords the page of swords communication could be kind of cutting a little bit you know dry the page of cups might be a little bit immature or a little fluffy the page of wands is probably more flirty communication and the page of pentacles is you know it can be friendly it actually can be kind of friendly this person might reach out in a friendly way okay and they could be preparing what they're going to say uh, but the, you know, the page of pentacles can also be like an invitation to dinner or something like that, or just, you know, a gift. It could be even a gift that's being prepared for you. The universe could be preparing a gift for you. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see what else we have going on here. Upright or reverse the devil. Upright or reverse the three of pentacles. Yeah, so some of you definitely do have a third party here because there's a lot of threes, okay? Um, now, you feel this person, uh, they, they may have a third party or they may have, and you're like, uh-uh, this has got to go. You you know, the devil in reverse. The devil is like the dark side of the lovers, which can imply a third party. We have it followed up by a three in reverse, okay? So that definitely can indicate that there is another energy that is just causing a problem in this connection, um, and causing the distance and just causing all that. And there are unfinished lessons. The cycle is not complete. Maybe the cycle with this, uh, external party, possibly you do feel like this person has released some toxic energy. Um, 
but you're still not completely on the same page. Like, I feel like they've made progress. We do have progress coming up here a couple of times. And I feel like you notice that they have made some progress, but that there's, you're still not, like I said, on the exact same page here with this person. And you're wondering if that, if it can work, like, can you make it work? You're not. The three of pentacles is a cooperative energy in the upright, in the reverse. It's like, you can't really work with this person. You know, you're wondering if you can, you don't want it to end, but the, any third party shit has to go. They definitely have to release the tox any toxic behaviors uh, and kind of, you know, be more cooperative, get on your page, release any third parties for sure. Uh, let's see how they feel. They're guarded. Upright or reverse, the Knight of Swords. I feel like they're waiting for you to tell them off. I don't feel like that's them wanting to tell you off. Upright or reverse, the Page of Swords. Hmm. I'm getting the energy of them. They're waiting for a shoe to drop or waiting for some kind of mm, shoe to drop. That's kind of what I'm getting. I mean, uh, the Knight of Swords, this is, see, this is them being guarded. Okay. So you may have had an argument with this person. All right. They're very curious as to what's going on with you, what you're thinking about. Uh, they may be spying on you. Okay. Trying to find out what you're up to. Um, the Knight of Swords, they have a lot to say. They may or may not be saying it. I don't feel like they really are. They want to talk. For sure they want to talk. They do have a lot that they want to get off their chest to you, but they're guarded and they may feel like you're going to kind of like lash out at them with the Knight of Swords there. They're curious. They want to know, like, if I reach out, well, you know, they bite my head off basically. All right. So in the past, the Three of Swords, pain. Ugh, upright or reverse, the Ten of Swords, jeez, Leo. I mean, talk about pain. I don't know that there are any two more painful cards in this deck. Upright or reverse, the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, in the past, this connection has been very unstable. This person does not appear to have been been uh, seeing your value or there was just something very unstable about this connection. Uh, they didn't recognize you. You may have felt very down on yourself and may have been feeling unstable even, or they could have. It's either way. It's a general reading, so you can swap the energies. But we have the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords in the past. This freaking connection has been through a lot, Has been and it's been very painful. Likely for you more than them, Leo, especially if they had a third party and or weren't recognizing your value, weren't giving you the honor that you deserve, okay? And it was very painful for you. I'm sorry. So right now the four of wands uh, in the reverse, it's still unstable and uh, possibly someone is still having trouble committing. Okay, um, upright or reverse, the Ace of Pentacles. But there is still a seed. Upright or reverse, the Emperor. Yeah, there's definitely a lack of stability in this connection. There is a bona fide opportunity here to do something with the Ace of Pentacles. The universe is definitely shifting and, and trying to put this, this beautiful golden seed in front of you. Okay, for you to take advantage of you and your person. Okay, but somebody's missing it. There's a lot of chaos in this connection right now. Just general lack of stability with the Four of Wands in reverse, the Emperor, which is another four, by the way. And we have another four here. You have a lot of fours. Okay, um, and it, it, that's chaos in the reverse, the emperor. It's also somebody that's not really, you know, manning up, bossing up, taking any action, okay? Um, somebody who may be very stubborn, very egotistical or egoic, um, kind of my way or the highway. No, I don't want to be in a relationship right now, so I'm not going to be. And no, I'm not going to offer Leo anything. But here's this opportunity, and they can't ignore it, believe it or not. They can't, they, no matter what they seem like, they cannot ignore the fact that there is a real opportunity for something really great here with you. Okay. So the opportunity is there. 
somebody's not taking it right now. This Emperor in Reverse could be chaos in the freaking world going on that's just getting in the way. It could be keeping you guys at a distance from each other. All the travel restrictions or whatever could, you know, could be an issue for this connection and keeping it in an energy of instability. But I do feel like somebody here it has been resistant to commitment in the past, unless you're one of those Leos, which I don't feel like there's a lot that's dealing with someone that's already in a situation, a marital situation or committed situation that's unwilling to leave for whatever reason or unable to leave. Um, but definitely there is a real opportunity here. It's just that it's not being taken at this time, which it will end up with that ace in reverse if somebody does not make a move. It looks like your person's going to do something with the hermit in reverse. Oh yeah, I didn't say this before, but if you're new that you'll see that I use my pendulum to you to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. All right, upright or reverse the fool. Get out. You got to be kidding. So this person who's been uh, clucking away chicken shit, it looks like, or stubborn or whatever, is getting ready to take a risk. Upright or reverse, the seven of wands. They're very determined. They're very, they're going to be very persistent when they come back. If you reject them in any way, they'll still come back. The hermit in reverse, they are coming back out of hiding. If they've been there, they are ready to take the leap some sort of risk it could just be a risk to reach out to you even though they're nervous it doesn't necessarily they're ready mean that they're ready to go down the aisle or anything but they are there is some sort of risk there is a fear with the fool there's a fear because there's a risk okay but they're going to come forward and say something to you about it they're going to be very persistent they're determined okay they are determined we'll get more on how they feel and what they're most likely to do next as well as more advice and more on your outcome lots of oracles in the extended if you want to follow me over there after this is over but let's see the four of pentacles protect your energy okay upright or reverse the lovers wow upright or reverse the ten of wands Mm. Uh, well, I mean, Spirit's obviously telling you you have burdens that you have to release. And if it's over any kind of third-party energy, you know, you're going to have to release that if you do want to move forward with this person, okay? Um, and I can tell that you do. You definitely do want to. There's definitely yearning and uh, missing of, you know, I believe each other, okay, in this connection where there's distance but there's been i mean you've got the ten of swords and the ten of wands you have the wheel of fortune and the world this is definitely some and it's past life this is definitely soulmate energy for sure you've been learning lessons with this person you've been on a cycle maybe more than one because sometimes those cycles do repeat you've been releasing karma working it out and learning the lessons okay but there's a lot that's burdening you right now on the inside you're you know emotions and whatever you've got to release those but also this is about unloading passion okay guys we have the lovers here <laughs> prepare for this person to come back and you know you're probably gonna unload <laughs> okay just saying there may be quite a build up there <laughs> that um is needing to be released here with the lovers and the ten of wands that's like a lot of passion okay passionate energy that's built up that is going to be released um but spirit still asks or telling you or advising you and you don't have to take spirit's ener um, advice at all. You can always make your own decisions, but spirit is telling you to protect your energy a little bit. Like just guard your heart a little bit, you know, don't like necessarily go all in. You probably are going to go and release some passion with this person. Okay. Also, I feel like if there was a third party, that's being released. You're being advised that that third party is being released. It's over. Okay. But still, you want to protect your energy a little bit. Okay, you don't necessarily need to, like, I'm not saying don't welcome them back with open arms. I, I'm not saying to play games. I'm just saying you do. we, we all need to protect ourselves at times, okay? So it doesn't mean you need to go all in and, you know, go right back to the way everything was, you know, kind of like maybe, kind of like maybe put them on probation a little bit if they have been up to no good in the past. Okay, with that four of pentacles. All right, so 
strength is in your outcome. That's your energy. That's courage. That's uh, st uh, strength, obviously. It's healing. It's, you know, the connection being stronger at the end of the day, having worked out all this karma and been through all this. You know, these types of things do tend, believe it or not, they can make or break it. Like, literally, sometimes these really difficult circumstances can totally destroy a relationship. But sometimes, believe it or not, they can end up making the relationship stronger. And it really has to do with the two people that are, well, experiencing the energy. What you want and, uh, you know, what you're willing to compromise. Usually, a lot of it has to do with compromise. All right, so your outcome. Upright or reverse? Oh, my gosh. Strength again. Strength twice. Upright or reverse? The two of wands. So the two of wands is definitely about crossroads. It is progress, uh, can also indicate distance. We have the two of wands, the three of wands, the world. There's a lot of distance cards here. So a lot of you are at a distance from this person, but it's an energy of a choice, guys, a crossroads. What are you gonna do? What direction are you going? Are you gonna take this person back when they come back and uh, move forward with that? See where it goes? There are a lot of changes coming. Or are you going to choose a different path, okay? Um, but this is like, there's a, it's just such a beautiful card the, with the person standing there with the world on their hands. You know, it's like literally anything is possible. Like, it's prepare to be wowed. I was getting that at the beginning of the reading before I even turned on the camera when I was reading about Aqua Aura Quartz. I was thinking like, Leo's going to get wowed. Like, there's going to be something that's going to really surprise you with this, these changes that are coming in. Like, prepare to be amazed. Like, you didn't see this coming, Okay. But um, we will get more and hopefully we'll find out more of what's coming in the outcome. But I can tell you that there's a lot of strength. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of karma that's been worked out in this connection. And then you're going to be able to move forward and pick a path after having been through all that. Now, strength is also for me a twin flame card, if that resonates with you. Um, it's up to you. We do have the lovers there. Uh, but it is because this is said to be like the empress, right? And she's taming the beast within or the beast with the, the leo the lion okay is associated with ego so it's like taming you know your own ego or the divine feminine tames her own ego um heals her own ego and then is able to help the divine masculine so it also tame that ego and we did see that there's a lot of ego here with the emperor here and this is kind of like like i said the empress so it's kind of like they're not both the emperor and the empress on the table but we do have this one that's kind of like the empress She's said to be with the emperor here. So that is kind of like twin flame or soulmate energy, if that resonates with you. But either way, you're going to have a choice to make. What you're going to do, you are at the crossroads, and it looks like spirit is pushing you forward in a great way. Like, big happy changes, Leo. And you're going to be happier, stronger, and all the better for all these challenges that you've been through and all the pain that you've been through. I feel like it's going to be worth it at the end of the day. Like, I feel like you're going to be able to look back kind of like when a woman has a child, Okay, and as painful as that is, it's that kind of pain that you just kind of forget because things are going to be really sweet. It's not necessarily showing that here, but I just feel it, okay? And I will be looking more into it in the extended. If you want to follow me over there, the link is below. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you for coming over here and watching. Hope you got something out of the reading. Let me know in the comments. And uh, until next time, stay safe, healthy, and sane out there, and I'll check you all back in another 30. Thanks. Bye.